I need one. I need one of these. Just I a guess. That's what it is. I definitely need one of these. Now, what what type of carburetor is on this? That's a model airplane carburetor. That's uh, an OS. Usually, yeah, it's an OS. Usually, we make carburetors for it, but the, we made so many of these that we didn't feel like making a bunch of carburetors. You know, we right. What was commercially so the OS carburetor works good on this. Pretty good. Not the best. Okay. It doesn't have a mid mid range. Uh, uh, setting where you can get the idle the transition from idle to full speed really good. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you for showing this to me. And then here's a. I don't know if you... Now Remy Senior is an awesome builder. He has made this boat, and he has made every fitting and single part on this ship. This is some amazing work. It really is. The boat is about four feet, maybe five feet long, four feet. Fifty-six inches. Fifty-six inches, Remy Sr. says. And uh, what what boat is it? It's a uh, World War One submarine. What this is? It's a model of a old farm engine uh, that they'd run accessories on the farm. Um, that's about it, really. It's, it's a hit and miss engine. Yeah, it's a hit and miss. Where the heck? Oh, it's over here. And it runs off of what? A uh, gasoline. Gasoline. Hey, it's just a tanker today, I guess. That's just, <laughs> you can't get you can't get new engines to start like this. <laughs> this is a PT boat that has been built from scratch, and they're telling me that it has three screws, one motor. This is uh, awesome also. Um, this is Tom, right? And he is building this. Yeah. And to see this thing in person is uh, is pretty amazing. i got to tell you, this is so much this work. This give you an idea what the... It has a... Uh, the motor compartment looks like. Brushless outrunner motor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a 1.2. And then I built a gearbox for it with belt drive. It's got wow. uh, timing belts in it. That's crazy. What size motor is this? 1.2. A 1.2. That is one big motor. Well, now what? Uh, we haven't tried it yet, so we, we're anticipating it'll run all right. But I may have to drop down to a 0.8 motor. Now, what are we doing here, Remy? I'm just making some parts for the boats. Uh, what, this is a collet that goes on to uh, some of the electric motors and stuff that that been running in the boats. Okay. Uh, they need a collet to hold the flex shaft that drives it. And these little collets, this is a, a CNC lathe that we uh, use just to make some of the turn stuff. And um, it's one of the best machines we have. It does everything. Now I'm in the process of setting this up right now, so I can't really run through the whole program. But it, it initially, what it does, you, you just feed in raw material and the, and the machine will actually, uh, it pulls it out, lubricates it, that's the lubrication. And it goes through each one of the cooling uh, by itself. And uh, we do each operation as we need it. And this is what it turns out to be. All right, it's yeah. a blank for a collet. Yep. And then you, we, we do a second operation on the other side, but uh, it just cuts it off and parts it, and you get all these little parts. Oh, so what's your partner's name? Pete Calamano. What is it? Peter Calamano. Peter Calamano. All right, we throw out a uh, shout out to him. Uh, he's not here with us today um, uh, because of illness, but uh, he's been he built most of the molds in the back. He's the one who is responsible for what I'm getting ready to show you. All right, this is where the magic happens with the boat hauls. This is also a good size room here, and uh, Remy Jr. here is going to explain to us uh, what they do here. Well, what you're looking at is really uh, the molds that we have for. About 30 of our boats, we make 30 different types of hulls. Uh, we've been doing that since uh, about 78, 1978 in New York, and when we moved down here in 93, we just continued it. Uh, my father and his partner, Peter Calamano, uh, started it all, um, and Peter does really all our master, or did all our master uh, plugs and stuff that you need to actually start with the molds. Uh, these molds here, they're production molds and they're by hand, but what these molds are, are um, it's really a negative of what you're looking at. Uh, we, what you do first is actually gel coat the mold, and that's that's really the color of the boat that it's going to be, and it also seals some of the fiberglass that's going to be laid on top of it. And that's laid, sprayed on here, 
it's almost like a paint that will spray on there, seal it, and then we'll hand lay fiberglass up in here, which you can see here, it starts off like this, and it's hand laid fiberglass, and the fiberglass will go into the mold, and we have to roll it all out and make sure there's no, it, it's impregnate, we impregnate it with resin. Mm -hmm. uh, we roll all the air bubbles out of it, and when it's cured, which usually takes overnight, we'll um, take air to it and blow, blow out the part. And the part is what you see. It comes in the bottom half. This is the top half of the deck. And the hull is a separate half. And we join them together. And that's when they go out the door. Now, how do you make the mold? I mean, how do you get all this done? The mold is from a master plug. It's a, The plugs start off as a wooden plug. Uh, okay. And you lay actually you lay the same type of fiberglass on top of that. Okay. Uh, it's waxed and has a lot of mold releases on it. And then... Uh, you pull that off and you get you get the actual negative of it if that's what you want to do. Cool. So you guys actually have to make the wooden mold first? Right, and that's what Peter's specialty was. Uh, he's, he did a mold, and I'll tell you, it takes a real skill to do that. It's a real carpenter. It's something that has to have the right draft to the uh, mold. If it has a negative draft, it won't be able to be released from the part, you know. So it has to have the right angles to them. It has to allow for shrinkage uh, of the actual part, and he knows it by, by just feeling uh, gotcha. What it is. It's really a, a, quite a skill. Well, it looks like you've got quite a few different uh, ones that you make here. Yeah, we start off about 29 inches and go all the way up to 57, 58 inch holes. And you're going to show us one of your one or two of your finished product yep, boats, we have it out there, yeah. and uh, they're for sale. Sure, we make them. In most of the cases, our holes are made in kit form. We sell the hull by itself, uh, hardware package. We can help have a hull and hardware package. Uh, and then we also sell them ready to run. Uh, most people I enjoy building them and they get to learn the product so uh, the hull and hardware package is a great way to start. This is now for a weed whacker engines, they're water cooled uh, pull start weed whacker engines but uh, electrics have become really popular lately and uh, that's really the, the, the bulk of our business right now, 10S electrics. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is, not only do they make boat hauls, this is a funny car uh, body that they've made. Um, it looks like it's probably what two and a half three feet about that. Yeah, something like that. It's really a cool uh, Funny car body so Yeah, this is something that we used to make back in the 80s actually uh, about 83 or 84 um, in conjunction with uh, Somebody else that we used to make rail rail funny cars 67 powered nitro funny cars and we still have the molds for the uh, For the funny car bodies and we, we make that once in a while and keep them out here in case somebody is interested in it and trying to scratch build something they can do that and... yeah, that's great my viewers are going to love this this is one of the finished products um that they make here this is a 50 inch sport x hydro um made by aero marine correct and uh this thing how long is this it's a fi it's 50 that's inches that's 56 yeah a fi uh, it's a 50 inch hydro i'm sorry yeah okay and what type of uh, power would you put in this? Yeah, putting uh, weed whacker, water cool weed whacker engines that have been modified with tuned pipes, and uh, that'll do about, four, about 55 miles an hour. I mean, with a stock engine in it. Now, recently, like I said, they've been putting pretty heavy, heavy electrics in those. All right. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. All right. What do we got here? Well, this is one of our Titan 21 high, uh, V bottom hulls, uh, which a lot of people right now are putting electrics in. Yeah, this um, is awesome. Uh, paint work everything this thing is beautiful and uh, what type of power would you run in something like this I this success uh, success lipos and um, some guys have been putting ADS in it but you're talking about a 65 70 mile an hour haul if you looked up Titan 21 and that's the boat it is you can see all kinds of video on it and it's really something I'll tell you all right thank you so this is their information um, you email them at hobbystop at comcast dot, dot net uh, look up their website, www.aeromarinerc.com. Uh, they are located at 22762 Sussex Highway, Route 13, Seaford, Delaware. And uh, you can contact them by email or phone for custom parts. Uh, he, he said it will make any custom part. He'll make aluminum wheels for RCs, uh, props, I mean, whatever you need. They can make it here, and you can have a one-of-a-kind part that no one else has, and that's the single most important aspect of their business. All right, everybody. So I'm out here at the track behind the Hobby Stop in Seaford, Delaware. Um, it's a triable track. It's banked. Very nice. The asphalt is in great condition. Uh, they have a nice area for you to stand up here and drive. 
So I've got the X-Max out here. It's the only vehicle I have with me that I could run. The bank turns are awesome. Yeah, it's cool. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, tell your friends. Um, this is a nice place if anybody lives local. I know some of you do. Uh, come by the hobby shop and see for Delaware and uh, buy from them um, they're small business I believe in supporting small business they're a great group of people you will get service there that you do not get on the internet and when you buy from here they will help you and uh, do what they can to keep you running and on the road um, advice is free I'm sure and uh, they're just a good good group of people here and uh, they will pretty much bend over backwards to help anybody out. And, I mean, you, know, you just you don't find people like this at all. And the customer service is just incredible. So um, if you're in the area, stop by, see them, say hi, tell them BNC Ultimate RC sent you here. Tell them that you saw this video. And uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, say hi to, to Tom, Troy, and uh, Remy and Remy Jr. Good guys. Trust me. Thanks, everyone. Take